Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin this evening with a Primetime News follow-up. The police are defending their actions after they rescued a man from a mob in Manchester on Friday. 62-year-old Chieftain Campbell later died from his injuries, but his family members have raised concerns about the time it took cops to take him to hospital. As you hear in this report, the police say they did the best they could. Now we must first warn you that some of the images in this report might be disturbing to some viewers. The final moments for Chieftain Campbell. Mr. Campbell was accused of being a pickpocket and was chased and beaten by an angry mob. He later died at hospital. Relatives and friends of Mr. Campbell have been demanding justice for his death, even as they insist that he was innocent. The actions of the police have also come under scrutiny by Mr. Campbell's family, who argued that the police should have taken him to hospital in a timely manner. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay is the head of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Corporate Communications Unit. On Friday, we had a group of officers on foot patrol in the, in, the, in the area when they saw a group of persons gathered and they went to investigate to see what was happening. They saw persons mobbing this gentleman. So they were able to rescue him. They reported that um, he robbed some persons who was involved in a robbery. So what they did is that they, they, they rescued him and they rescued him because that would require further investigation because you had persons complaining of robbery. SSP Lindsay says based on her information, the man did not have to wait long before he was taken to hospital. So while they waited, he couldn't stand, so that he was sitting where you saw that video. For a short period of understand until they called for a police vehicle to come and take him to the hospital. They took him from that scene straight to the hospital where he, um, he received treatment. They understand that about half an hour later, they got a call from the hospital that he died. So we, we are now investigating the matter. In the meantime, psychologist Dr. Lekim Simaj says strong actions should be taken against those responsible for beating the man. We really should make sure that when these things happen, there must be consequences. We need to hear about arrest and conviction. Whatever the cost, because people still feel that you can behave in such a manner and get away with it because it diminish responsibility. You don't feel any way while it happens, but I'm sure in the cold distance now, many of them are regretting their participation. But it needs to get further. SSP Lindsay says the JCF's technical team is now in the process of reviewing video footage of the incident. So we are definitely examining the footage to see if we can recognize some of the persons that were involved. We are hoping that the technology will aid us because in a situation like this, nobody's going to come forward to see who they saw or what happened. They were guests on Radio Jamaica's weekly news review program, That's a Wrap.